Greetings everyone, Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility on this Wednesday, new review day each and every week. Today we're going to take a look at, I believe it's the fourth full-length studio record by the Swedish band, War Scandinavia, that's right. Uh, the band is called Mammoth Volume, the album is Raised Up by Witches, and they are on Blues Funeral Recordings. Let's take a look at the little digipack here. Kind of interesting artwork, I'd say. And uh, you got the disc and uh, the inside here. Band comprised of Daniel Gustafsson on guitars, keyboards, flutes, percussion, and bass. Nicholas Anderson on drums, vocals, and bass. Jurgen Aston Anderson on vocals and Kalle Berlin on bass. Uh, so you got two Andersons here. I'm not quite sure if they are related, because of course that's a pretty, pretty popular uh, last name in Sweden. Uh, guest vocals on one track by Isa Elström, recorded and mixed by Nicholas Andersson and Daniel Gustafsson, mastered by Zach Weeks at God City Studio in Salem, Massachusetts. All right, album cover art by Nicholas Andersson, layout by Lucas Jasek, so recorded in Massachusetts. Though they are Swedish, I don't know if they have. Uh, relocated here or not that i don't know don't really know too much about this band it's the first time i'm listening to them uh but i, I happen to like a lot of the blues funeral stuff and i figured I'd give these guys a try so we've got uh nine tracks on this album like i said they have a few others i believe this is their fourth uh, full-length album and uh how to describe these guys well they're kind of like a stoner rock band but they're also they play a lot of prog and it's just kind of like this weird meeting of progressive rock and stoner rock. There's some grungy stuff going on here. Like you'll hear a bit of Alice in Chains, a bit of Nirvana on here. You'll hear a little Yes. I hear some Graveyard, right? Uh, the song Diablo 3, Faces in the Water, to me, sounds like a Graveyard track. Pretty damn cool. Uh, most of the tracks are like four to five minutes thereabouts. You got one longer piece that ends the album, but it starts off with the Battle of Light Wedge, which is the first track that's like four minutes long. That's a good kind of up-tempo, stoner rock, kind of meaty track. Uh, good riffing and whatnot. The production on this album is kind of weird. Um, there, uh, it's not, it's, the riffs have kind of like this dirty sound to them, but there's not a lot of fuzz and gain on them. Right, if that makes any sense at all, uh, I think they're they're still trying to kind of hold on to this. We are kind of a prog band type of thing, so none of these tracks are overly uh, fuzzy or distorted from a riff perspective. But they the way they play the riffs is the same mentality from it's coming from that same place. Uh, Black Horse Beach, another pretty up tempo ripper, and you got Scissor Bliss. Uh, that's kind of a little more mellow. That's almost seven minutes long. That's kind of proggy. They do some kind of little complicated things with the arrangements, the keyboards and the guitars and things like that. You get some flute occasional. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I mentioned, Diablo Three Faces in the Water. That's the shortest track, right? I think it's like just under three minutes long. That sounds like Graveyard. It's just fast and up tempo, bluesy, heavy rock. I really like that a lot. Uh, Lisa, Lisa's a little on the mellower side again. Got a little bit more of that prog mentality. Same with Serpent in the Deep. Although Serpent in the Deep um, also has some kind of cool hooks and things going on there. It's pretty catchy. Uh, Cult of Anira might be my favorite song on here. It's track number seven. That's pretty heavy. That's just a good kind of Scandinavian stoner rock uh, workout. Just nice and riffy. Again, I wish the riffs were produced a little heavier, with a little more fuzz or gain on them, but they're still the riffs are really cool. Uh, a Tale About the Photon, that's again kind of proggy. And then uh, Sangen Om Yimer, which is the uh, final track, which is about six and a half minutes long. It's three, three, uh, three parts to it, it's sung in Swedish. Uh, that again is mostly kind of proggy. You can hear like little bits of like Gentle Giant and yes, they're trying to get like very intricate with the guitars, the bass, the drums, the keys and things like that. So, I mean, overall, I like this. I'm still waiting for it to kind of like really pow and hit me. I've listened to it numerous times already. I like it. I haven't fallen in love with it yet. I'm interested in what their, some of their other stuff sounds like, but I think it's really good. And I think uh, it's easy to recommend because I think that uh, for some people who, you know, kind of like a little bit of stoner, but more are prog people, this is kind of like a meeting of the two. And I think it's just proggy enough and it's just kind of stoner enough. There's a little bit of psychedelia, a little bit of folk in here, a little bit of pop in here. Just kind of a little bit of everything. It sounds very Scandinavian. 
Like it, it's you could definitely tell this is like a Swedish band. It's, it's got that feel. It's got that sound. So uh, yeah, three point five out of five star. Mammoth volume raised up by witches. Go check it out. I'll drop the link to the Bandcamp page so you can go listen to the whole album. Uh, and you can probably place an order. The CDs are available, I believe it officially is. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's available on compact disc and vinyl. You can go uh, check it out on their Bandcamp page. Ken Golden over at LaserCD.com also has this in stock, I believe. So, uh, yeah, so I'll put that down below. 3.5 out of 5 star. Mammoth Volume, Raised Up by Witches. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there, as always. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Parter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.